I'm listening to Chris Plant on the radio. Shout outs to Chris Plant. I'm Once to Grow. This is OSGOE. Chris Plant just made the uh, comment about Russian agent. And it's interesting how many people are actually Russian agents in America, more so than during the height of the Cold War. There are more people in the world and there's more spying going on than ever before. And that's right out of the playbook of the tradecraft. So interestingly, we live in a time when there is more Russian spying on U.S. and foreign soil than any time in history, even more so than during the Cold War. Some people don't know that. They think, well, the Cold War is over, so Russia's not spying like it used to. Russia's spying more than it used to. And there are more Americans working with the Russian intelligence services than ever before. Ask anyone who works in counterintelligence and they'll tell you the same thing if they know if they know their, their craft. So that said, and those are published statistics. That's published information, just FYI. Again, I'm Once a Grove, OSGOE. This is casting 495 celebrities worldwide. So Donald Trump did not collude with the Russians, but Hillary Clinton and her camp, they did. It's really interesting that they tried to steal the election using Russian propaganda from Russian disinformation agents. That's really interesting. So you have Hillary Clinton working with the Russians as an actual colluder. Someone who was an American who's actually in collusion with Russian spies. That is Russian intelligence services. They used a fake dossier from Christopher Steele coming from the Russians, Russian spies. Hillary Clinton paid for Russian intelligence disinformation. Intelligence information that was disinformation. And she knew that it was disinformation. So she paid Russian spies to obtain information that was disinformation that could then be used against Donald Trump. Is, is, isn't, that, isn't that astonishing? So she's been working with the Russians, Hillary Clinton. They stooped, that is the socialist Dems, who are really communists. They stooped to a new low. And that is not to say that everyone in Russia is communist. Not everyone in Russia is communist, just like not everyone in China is communist. In fact, China is a mixed economy. It's, it's both. So you, you, you have the socialist Dem communists who, who stooped to a new low in America. They, 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 they attempted to sell out America. I mean, look at Hillary Clinton's espionage. On, if you widen the scope of her espionage, look at the Benghazi server. Look at all the different foreign intelligence services that had access to her server because it was open on the open internet. So she opened, she opened the floodgates of highly classified intelligence information to enemies of America. And she paid Russian disinformation agents for Russian intelligence information that was doctored up by Russian intelligence services. So Hillary Clinton has been working with the Russians as a Russian agent. And then she turns around and says that other people are Russian agents and not her. She's obviously a Russian agent. It's very clear To those who have observed that she is a colluder and someone working with who has been working with the Russians. And she did the deal with Uranium One and Fusion GPS to sell the Russians uranium from American soil. So yeah, Russian spies, man. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama. Barack Obama is implicated in the indictment that is rolling out. And when people see the indictment and all the information as it relates to pertains to abuses of the FISA court system and uh, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance uh, Act and everything Benghazi, everything Uranium One, everything Russians, Obama was and is one of the dirtiest political operators in world global fucking history. If you look at the track record of Hillary Clinton and all of the dirt that she has done in her lifetime and her husband and her husband's association with uh, Epstein, and you may say, oh, well, that's completely unrelated and it's completely something totally separate and we're talking apples and oranges. It's not, man. 
It's just, it's, it speaks volumes and it's representative of the way that they are. Just, just the type of dirt and slime that they, that they promulgate, that they perpetuate, that they exude, that they do. Listen, man, people have extolled and proselytized Obama. The type of shit that Jeremiah Wright and Obama espoused when they then pretended like they were going separate ways. Oh yeah, um, I don't share um, Jeremiah's uh, Jeremiah Wright's view anymore. Dude, you did fucking yesterday. The only reason you're distancing yourself from him is because you're not really distancing yourself from him. You're a fucking pretender, dude. You're a fuck man. It, I mean, who could be that fucking stupid to believe their uh their chicanery, their fucking shenanigans, their their facade, their 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 fable? Who could be Oh, I know. Gullible fucking brainwashed people. Oh yeah, Obama, he was wiser, and he's really a nice man, and that Jeremiah Wright was saying all those really mean, evil things about America, but Obama, he was smarter, and he figured out and got smart and wise and knew that he needed to leave that 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 very evil, wicked uh, Jeremiah Wright, and that's how he became our president, and that's why I voted for him, because he doesn't really believe those, those evil, wicked, abominable things that that Jeremiah Wright was saying he doesn't and that's why he left him and that's why I gave him my vote and when he smiled and he threw that frisbee and he chucked that football I knew that he was a good man that's why I voted for Obama these people man I feel on one hand I feel really sorry for them because they because because they let their guard down in America and they let fascism in and and they let in the same type of elements that were present during Nazi Germany and and they they are fucking clueless absolutely oblivious to the Robert Mullers of the world oh i hope Robert Mueller gets to the gets to the bottom of it and figures out with that with that uh Hitler-esque Donald Trump was doing, I know Donald Trump is involved in in malevolent activities and that he's trying to bring down America with the MAGA movement and the red hats, and I just hope to God, Godspeed, that Mr. Robert Mueller, God bless his soul, he get to the bottom of the situation. So fucking, man, the machinations of these people the 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 pure evil nature of these entities the fact that fellow americans are so fucking brainwashed just so completely oblivious and clueless is 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 extremely alarming extremely alarming they have no idea that it's the other way around They have zero knowledge, zero clue that Deep State orchestrated this masterful facade, charade, massive in scope, and collectively said everything that we do will broadcast that it's Donald Trump who's actually the one doing these things that we're doing. GPS fusion, uranium one, collusion with the Russians, that's us. We'll pretend like Donald Trump is the one who's dealing with the Russians. And we'll even go to this group of Russians and get this disinformation and then feed it to our Western American media and they'll believe that the things that we've been doing, it's actually Donald Trump who's doing them. That'll be number one to cover our bases. That's what these people did, man. That's what these, that's what these, man, you know what? I can't even call them people, man. They're, man, I can't even call the, I can't even call them people. That's what these fucking foes did. Barack Hussein Obama is no different than 
the various so-called leaders that you have seen in world history, in the textbook, in the news, in the media, who was once a leader, who was later subsequently locked up by the people. No different. Look at look at war criminals. Look at former presidents of countries who have been locked up, incarcerated for the evil that they spun, for the evil deeds, for their wicked and abominable activities, war crimes, treason. They've been locked up for what they did when they were in office in power. And then Obama has the nerve to insert himself in the 2020 presidential election campaign. Started poking his nose around, started popping up here and there like a mole gopher, like a gopher, like a gopher mole, like a mole traitor to America that he is. Poking his head up, looking around, is the coast clear? Then here's Michelle Obama talking about how white people have been running from her and her family. Who, how, who, 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 who do they think they are? I mean, talk about divisiveness. Talk about race superiority. They think themselves to be superior. They say and do, they say and do all of these things to purposefully, intentionally, deliberately be divisive. And then, number two, they all huddle and they say, all of the devices, all of the divisiveness, all of the divisiveness that we are sowing into the fabric of current American politics, we are going to pin it all on Donald Trump and say that he's doing it. Everything they do, that's what they do. They turn around and they say, we have to pin everything we do on Donald Trump because it's the only thing that we can do to cover our bases. And there are people who are so gullible, who are so fucking stupid, clueless and oblivious, they will believe whatever it is that we tell them. And that's where Nancy Pelosi comes into play with the impeachment inquiry. That is a fable, a facade, a charade, apocryphal, a ruse, a red herring. It is fabricated. It is contrived. It is totally non-existent. It is all fucking made up. And it is baseless. It is baseless. She should be fucking arrested with Robert Mueller and James Comey and Barack Hussein Obama and Hillary Clinton and Eric Holder and Maxine fucking Dirty Waters and James All of them, man. Andrew McCabe is what I met. Lisa Page, Peter Strzok, all a deep fucking state. 